You're insane! Hello, and hey. welcome to the Madhouse, episode 110. I'm Ultimate That's more than Spot, six. 53, the host of this podcast, and joining me for this week's episode, I have... Hi! I'm Jockey! I'm, um, I'm, I'm Steve, also known as Steve Kavak. I am Big Dino Guy. I'm Lucas, I'm a person. Uh, so yeah, um, Merry Christmas to everyone joining us. The pre-Christmas oh, oh, oh. episode. I think it'd be fun to talk about uh, video game consoles, and then later on, video game music. But first of all, video game consoles, because there have been a lot of remasters being released. And I wanted to talk about um, our first consoles we ever played, our first or our first video games we ever played. Mainly consoles, and then kind of, we can talk about our favorite video games. But favorite favorite video game console we first started. It can be a handheld or it can be a console. Mario right. Kart 64 was the first game I ever played. Okay. Aw, uh, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, first game? That game is actually pretty good, though. It is. I love oh, it. <laughs> first game I played was... I want to say it was either Gold Max or Sonic 2 on the Genesis. So what, what, which platform would that be? Genesis. Okay, okay so you're, you're, the you're, drive, you're, you're, you're the first... Uh, if you'll be the Genesis through the, through the first one. Okay. Yeah, I haven't yeah, actually happened. played that, um, but... I first game I ever played, I don't know for certain. <laughs> However, I remember playing mm-hmm. or watch my dad mm-hmm. play Zelda on the GameCube. The GameCube, okay. That's not that oh, my yeah. first. Uh, yeah, that was, the, con- first that was the first console that I remember playing. GameCube. Um, I All right. played uh, a lot of Metroid on that. GameCube is a classic. I love the GameCube. Fantastic. Metroid Prime was rad. I love that game. game. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, um, I think for me, my, I mean, I don't know about my first favorite, favorite game, my, my favorite first game ever that I ever played. Um, it might have either been GoldenEye on the N64 or um, Legend of Zelda or Crown of Time, the same platform. So my, this for that generation was my first ever. I had a, I had a PlayStation One and N64, and I don't know what the other one was, but that was my was my two. I don't know. If, Xbox had. I don't think Xbox had one yet, but those are the two consoles that I kind of grew up on. That was just classic. I remember GoldenEye being our, our, our like, I think it was uh, our neighbors, and I remember I always, always, I would always try to choose Bond. It'd always be like that, and I don't know, it was just fun. I loved it. I, I loved playing that game, and I think I would always try to get Commando also, because I think I was like the toughest guy, Commando, in that. I like to go Commando. Yeah, yeah. It was always the best. Um, Do you not know yeah. what that means? Well, it's just the character you can play in the game. I think. Do you not know what going commando means? Going commando, I don't think so. It It means not wearing underwear. Oh, I I didn't know that. Okay. So (laughs) if you're wearing a kilt and you're going commando, well, oh, that's what actually wearing a kilt is. So never mind. Oh, my goodness. Wow. (laughs) Well, anyway, um, that was my first console ever. And then I think, I think, I just kept going up in the in the in the generations. I think it was like the, I think the, the next generation was probably the GameCube and the PS2, unless I'm mistaken. I think the, I think that was the next one. Yeah, that was the next one. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I think the Xbox also came out then. And I think the that that thing that my favorite. I don't know. What do you guys think about your favorite uh, generation of of consoles when you grew up? Oh, um, like the one that we grew up on, or, or yeah, 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 like the one, the one like. Like, what's your generation of consoles? PS2. PlayStation For me, 2. all that I had was my GameCube. Yeah. That was really all that we Definitely. had to grow up on. Oh, yeah. I had a um, PS3. Nice. It wasn't until PS3, about... So. Nice. It wasn't that until was about five years ago that I got something other than a GameCube. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that, that was my entire childhood. If you're okay. talking about favorite console in general now... Yeah. Xbox, hands Definitely. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love my 360. It, I absolutely adore it. I've it's mm-hmm. got my favorite games on it. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, I'm playing. I'm playing Halo Reach right now. On oh yeah, three, three, so. yeah. I uh, I think the the really sad part about game stores now is because those, those of us who love the classic stuff and like want to buy it because you can't really buy it unless you go to eBay or something like that because that's the only place I sell it now. Um, in fact, the GameStop I hate GameStop by the way. It's one of the worst places ever because credit and all that stuff and they don't sell any classic stuff if you go to um where i live at least in uh, washington you go to a place in seattle called game Grooves, they sell classics i think there's also other places in the world um 
the ninja game gurus, but that's one of the shops that I remember that are still like the classics, Fun the shop, man. Still, love sorry, them. everything, and they just sell the everything that you love playing from like the. I, I don't think they sell PC games, but I, I don't think any sh- in oh, please, uh, PC games. Oh. I think. But go ahead. There's a place in Edmond called Another Castle. That, yeah, yeah um, I've played. I've played it there before. Some kind of that. That's another example of a shop that sells classics. Like they sell apparently, everything. Apparently, the world has grown up so much that no one plays the classics anymore. No one wants to buy, you know, the the classic Genesis or the the or the game because like everyone's Dude, on the one and the PS4 like, now. It's like no, we're we're on the last gen. People are still like me and Veganica. We're still playing last gen. I'm gonna continue playing the last and until we give up on it. <laughs> Can we just stop getting, <laughs> we get bored of it? No, we're not gonna get bored of it. No. That is just life in general. Um, <laughs> yeah, not you're still playing like, through yeah. six like Yeah, well dude, it's so old, like you're old. Yeah, I am I'm keeping So my... guys. Mm-hmm. So one game to come. So mm-hmm. my my console was uh obviously the PS2. Classic, PS2. classic, yes, yes. Yeah, I play like Gran Turismo mm-hmm. and Ratchet oh, yeah. and Clank. I love that intro. The intro that. that um I always love video game like the not the video game but the the console startups. Those are the best. Yeah. Like, the, the game yeah. the PS2. I'm, a, anytime the PS2 startup plays, I just oh, yeah. I'm instantly dragged back. <laughs> I, I don't know what it sounds like, but it's like it's like platforms <laughs> everywhere. It's awesome. I love that. I love it's the fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And also the oh, Grand yeah. Turismo sounds. Uh, the Grand Turismo sounds like the burr, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. sounds are just. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I I love the GameCube because with that, you, if you get up to four controllers, you can do crazy stuff. You have one controller where you can do like the thing that do, and then we have the second one. You have a, I think, girls laughing or something like that, or I think children laughing. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. The, the GameCube. And yeah, you, you you hold down a button. <laughs> what? Yeah, you get enough controls. You can do crazy stuff with the with the intro of the uh, GameCube. Yeah, with with GameCube, it it has a, a squeaky 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 yeah. squeaky, and then a child a child's laugh at the yeah, yeah. end. Huh. <laughs> and the monkeys, monkeys the entire way through, and the ninjas. You get four controllers. I think it's probably gonna have some friends with you to do this, but four controllers play to you at the exact same time when the startup goes, and you'll have ninjas go, oh yeah, yeah, it's like it's really awesome. I just love it. It's fantastic. It's the best startup ever. I mean, I know that the Xbox 360, because they changed it throughout uh, its time, it had two different startups. It had the uh, the and then the new one is on the when well, they haven't updated because you know the one's out now, but I still love it. It's uh. I think it's like this this uh, strip of I don't know what it is. I guess ribbon that goes through like it, it goes around the Xbox logo and then it goes inside it. I don't know, it's really cool. I love it. But I don't know I think yeah, that I think I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, and then the, the original Xbox had it um it was like like that. Am I am I right? <laughs> yeah, where it kind yeah. of explodes. I love that. They, all these calls have a great oh Sega. I love that. Sega. I grew up on that. Yes. Sega. That's a great, that's a great one. Um, I also I know, like, some of them are pretty, pretty boring. Like the Xbox one, it's like, it's like boring. No, could, no consoles have spectacular like startup noises and intros anymore. And it's sad. It's, like, it's so boring now. Like the, the, the PlayStation. The PlayStation is a good one. I think if you get the, if you get like the, the PS4, PS1, like it's a, a special PS4 that has like PS1 sound effects. If you like bit it up, it has the exact same sound effects as PS1. I think it's a specific like collector's version of the PS4, but it's awesome. If you love like that classic PS1 sound up, it's like it's awesome. Um, and then I personally haven't played the the old classics and stuff like that. The Atari, not even the Sega. Um, I just miss all those consoles. I didn't. I wasn't born when they came out. But um, well, I was I, but my parents were. Oh yeah, <laughs> and my yeah, brother was. Good. I think that. The really sad thing about about game stores nowadays is they don't bother selling the old stuff. It's like I guess the world now is just grown up to the point where they don't play the old. No, stuff. Really. Everyone's just on the news. So it's like, well, some of us like the old stuff, or some of us haven't yeah, bothered. Kind of to, they don't want to go to the new stuff yet. It's like, yeah, I don't yeah. care if the Xbox One is out. I'm not gonna always play it. You know, I love my 360. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. I miss the classics. 
I don't play hate... DS games, so... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, DS games are good. There's a oh. lot of good ones out there. <laughs> yeah. Here's my can can other can thing, can though, about consoles. Well, mm-hmm. it's not really about consoles, but it's just about games in general. Oh, yeah. I hate that a lot of newer games, they require DLC. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, yeah. For me the only, uh, the only yeah. games that I have Actually, ever bought DLC for... it's always for, existed, but, you know... The, on the disc only DLC games I have bought. The worst thing in the history of ever. The only things I've ever bought, like the entire DLC for, was the original Mass Effect trilogy. Mm. I, mean, I no joke. I probably spent over a hundred dollars on that one on those three games alone. Holy um, shit! Well, that's because I bought um, the majority of the DLC and I saved up for. It. I mean, that was over the course of about three months. Wow. I had saved up a lot of money for my job, and I really wanted to get it. Wow. And the only reason why I bought all that is because I really, really, really love those games. Mm-hmm. Um, the only other that, DLC yeah. I've gotten is either free stuff or things that are just... I had a little bit of money for left over from when I had uh, yeah. done the, the Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. And just might as well. But nowadays, mm-hmm. a lot of people, they, they sell a third of the game. They oh, yeah. sell they yeah. sell the majority of the game, but then hey, you want the last fourth? Here's a DLC extension. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Totally. like, I, I I hate that. I mean, we mm-hmm. I I at least grew up with like I said, GameCube. Yeah, GameCube, PS2. Classic. I mean, those consoles. Um, all the other consoles up until about 360, you have the entire game. Yes, yeah, so you can buy add-ons. Mm-hmm. Maybe you get an ex- a special feature one. Ooh, they have a little bit of a difference here compared to there. But that's about it. And nowadays yeah, yeah. they're they're just milking money. Yeah. I mean, either even if it's a, a horrid game, I mean, a horrid game, they're going to expect for you to buy all the DLC, and it's going to be at least fifty dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I remember because um, I wanted to play the. Uh, Castle or like the map, map packs, like Castle Majestic and uh, and Crimson for Halo Four, I think it was, or I think it was either Halo Four or Halo Reach. I think it was Halo Four. And my brother had it. I'm like, oh, I'll just download them on my, my uh, Xbox. Like, got the achievements. That's great. But now I can't play them. I can't actually go to the the uh, online matchmaking and play them. That's the really annoying part about about DLC is that it sometimes it just it doesn't work. Especially if like I don't want to pay for it, but my you know I have I know someone who has them. I'll just download them from their account. And that, and that just doesn't always work. Like I. I have had it happen so often where DLC is just like I don't know DLC is kind of it's nice but it can be annoying when it's like paid DLC. I just, I like free stuff, you know. I just like it. Everybody um, likes free stuff. Obviously. Um, yeah. Free nothing. stuff. Entertainment doesn't cost. Stuff. Entertainment costs money, so it's like just the way it is. But I yeah I remember classic stuff. I I think the annoying thing about it's like it's like oh they're making a. You know, they're making a new, you know, a new blank game. Like, well, I haven't played the old stuff. Like, I haven't played Metroid or anything, guys. Just like, that's just the way it is. Like, I haven't played those old games because I wasn't alive when they came out. Um, kind of like Half Life, where I, I never played them the, re- the original stuff. I, I just haven't, and I mean, like, they're making a remake of it, everything like. That. But I mean, I think we, you know, consoles in general, there a lot of them are classics. I just love the classics. Um, and I still play the GameCube. Well, not often but i i still miss those old stuff and the really yeah, good thing about about people who don't have those old consoles is that people are remastering and remaking games for new consoles like you know the the, the playstation consoles like uh like with uh crash bandicoot and sparrow they're remastering those for the uh new generation so you have anything every, some of these games are on the on the ps1 are not being ported to the ps4 so it's, it's like I was gonna get you know the Spyro you know series and the Crash series on the PS1, but it's basically pointless. But I was gonna do it for my PS2 because backwards compatible. But like now that they've remastered it for the PS4, and my brother has a PS4, I have the reason to get the originals. I can get the remasters. So it's like, you know, it, it's that's just the way it is sometimes. But I don't know. Do, I feel like sometimes remastering is fun. Sometimes you're right. When we, yeah. When you play, I have played. A, you played a game a little bit, and you try it, and then it comes back, and you know the new game. It's like, yeah, I can finally play it after all these years. It's fantastic. I love when it happens. I love remasters. Sometimes it's annoying because, like, well, I never played. It. It's like that game was like twenty years old. Like, I just didn't play it. Sorry. Sorry. So, um, but you know, I, I, I love 
the, all these consoles, but the, the, the fact that like the fact they don't sell them anymore, like uh, the the old stuff, they don't sell them. You can't go to games store and just buy them. You have to buy them third party. Yeah, I but, guess because the world is grown up now. Everyone's grown up. It's like they're on the new consoles. Like, well, well. With that oh, being said, oh, though, Tom, and, mm-hmm. and this is just life in general. Yeah. Things are always going to quote grow up. <laughs> yeah, I, I I didn't like how the um, PS2 grew up. Like I didn't I didn't really get a PS3 because like oh I didn't like how the PS2 went to the PS3. It's like at this point it's like do I really care anymore? <laughs> you know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I mean ser- seriously, they are always going to be constantly changing. Just the way yeah. that it goes about though, that's yeah. my issue with it. Exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm really excited though. I got a really good friend that I I met online. He and I have been gaming together for well over a year yeah. now. He and I are actually playing Halo Reach right now on Team Snipers. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, while while uh, we're doing our podcast here, but he has a old PS3 that he doesn't use anymore. Yeah. He's like, hey, hey it's so birthday, it's Christmas, and so he's shipping it over to me. That's and, awesome, dude. That's amazing. And the only reason why I have gotten my PS2, my 360, or my PS4 is because all three of them have been free. PS2 yeah. is because I really wanted to have a game called Predator Concrete Jungle, yeah. um, which is my one of my all-time favorites. I mean, it's Mass Effect 2, my ultimate... Oh, hallelujah! Yeah. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> then uh, ADP 2010 for PC... And then Predator Concrete Jungle, my top three games of all fucking time. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I got that because, hey, it was my birthday again. And my mom's mm-hmm. friend had was like, hey, I'm getting rid of this. Do you want it? Yes, please. Mm-hmm. And what do you do? But yeah. um, the reason why I've gotten those consoles is because of the... the well, they're gifts. And also because uh, mm-hmm. my friend has uh, The Last of Us downloaded onto the mm-hmm. console yeah and when he told me i was i was jumping for joy because i love absolutely adore that game and i really want to play it yeah um but th- that's one of the things that a lot of consoles do nowadays they are going to entice people with games i mean look at the original 360 the, or not mm-hmm. or 360 the original xbox it came oh, out yeah. with halo the <laughs> yeah. original halo yep and you that. cannot tell me, I mean, I, I'm not old enough to remember it very well, but you cannot tell me that someone that is it that mm-hmm. has just played Atari all their life isn't going to look at it like, holy shit, this is beautiful. I mean, it was the new oh, yeah. GoldenEye, and it was re- released with a brand new console, mm-hmm. and that's how they sell these things. And, hey, exclusive to this, exclusive to that. No, exclusive to that. I mean, it goes all the way back to when they first consoles okay atari or um or pong i mean yeah seriously exactly. that, that's all that it was mm-hmm. and I, I get it that that's the way that it kind of goes i mean that's the way that it evolves like you were saying it continuously moves oh, yeah. on and that also like another thing about about uh, about how consoles evolve is that like i think i think there was the 360 that generation was when the dashboard idea like, that idea of the dashboard came into existence about how that dashboard can change like i remember when the 360 because i was at my friend's house we, we would have a we would have the xbox 360 and all that stuff and i remember when when the dashboard used to be like uh like slides it would like be like i don't know i mean it's like the dashboard they where they could change it fully to be an actual dashboard it used to be like a uh, like folders and slides it would like you know you open this folder as you're here with your friends and your your games your library all that stuff and mm-hmm. i mean i wasn't the biggest fan of that version of the dashboard I'm yeah now that was i it was just like it was i'm like I want this to go. I want this to not go. There's some people in the world who never actually changed their dashboard. They just didn't update. It's like, I don't want to change my dashboard. I'm just going to keep the same way. <laughs> and they never did change it. It's like, wow. Some people in the world do actually have the original dashboard. I'm not kidding. Some people didn't bother changing it. Uh, but that's just like some, some of the that, – that, that particular generation of consoles was when the dashboard kind of happened. I don't know if the PS3 had any uh, had any dashboard updates or anything. If they had dashboard. I know that, I know that had a dashboard, but I don't know if it changed or not. Uh, uh, in my experience, it never did. Kind of basically, right. so I think it might have been, the same. Yeah. It might have been an Xbox exclusive that whether they had a dashboard that would update. But dashboarding was a great. Really I, stuff, though. I love the dashboarding. Um, I remember the X, but the original Xbox, it wasn't much of anything really. It didn't have much of a. Uh, you know, I mean, it was a great console when it was. You know, when it had 
all the good games for it. I mean, I think I know some of some, some consoles out there, like maybe a couple of years ago, and then the PS2 had its final release, like its final game release. And that was like years and years after it, it came out. Like before, around the time when, I think it even came out around the time when the PS4 came out, was when PS2 finally came out with its last game ever. I think it was like a FIFA title. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, it just is now to release its final game. I mean, it's dead, it's a dead console. Maybe to some people, but not to me. You know, I still play it. I still love it. Um, sometimes, like, oh, that 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 console's dead. It's like, not really. The Xbox Switch is not dead. I still have it. I still play it. It's never just because the console was ten plus years old. It's not mean it's dead. It's well, like, there's always gonna not, be somebody who wants to play it. It's a thirteen year old community. I'm not gonna, I'm not Dude, gonna people still play it. the Atari. It's oh, not, yeah, there's a huge that, community But that, that doesn't mean it's still well not. It's not alive. dead. No, it's, it's still alive. People still play it. That just means that people don't sell anymore. Because yeah, pretty much. We just moved on to the new consoles. Like that's fine. We can play what we want. No, I know that it's Nintendo. Not like an angry X Y. That's <laughs> fine. I... I know that Nintendo, out of all companies, has struggled a lot because they had the struggled. Uh, well, they would, fucking like, shit with, with the Wii U. It, they oh. have it in the past. Maybe, maybe like recently. In the, the past, Wii, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The past. They had a great I mean, line. You know, like Nintendo. Nintendo sometimes. Yeah, the 64, GameCube, the Wii, and then the Wii, the Wii, the Wii U. It's like that's where they just stopped being good okay, and making consoles. Um, and they made some great games, but the consoles just wasn't wasn't all great. I feel like that that during that period they really struggled with uh, with game sales because uh, I don't think it was a game exactly, but it was just the console itself. It's like I don't want to buy the, a Wii. Just the Wii was the best selling game console ever. I'm talking about the Wii U though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that was like a console I'm like, <laughs> I didn't really like it all that much. And in fact, that, the fact that they were able to save their company, I guess they, well, you could call it that, maybe, maybe I wouldn't use that word, but I feel like it works because they didn't, they were not doing well when they had the Wii U still, and then when they finally saved the company, I guess, with a Switch, and they really didn't save that company. They, they, the sales went way up when they finally got out with a new console, because the Switch has been amazing. Um, so as far as I played it, it's been amazing. And you know, the Wii U just horrid. I just it was design, which design was awful. Um, everything about it, like they just I'm like, I'm just like, how do you do it? It's like you do it. It's like what's like something about a, a, a U? It's like it just I don't know. Nintendo during that period was just not a very good company. I mean, they made some great games, but their console Dude, Wii was just like one of the worst. So that was during that period. Three no. game consoles I mean, I, of all time. Again, they had some great games, but the Wii U was just not great. But then they saved it with the Switch, and I think the Switch is great. But uh, I don't know. I think another thing that um, I wanted to talk about is also ports. Now, there are a lot of games out there that get reported everywhere. It's like like Skyrim. We finally got a new um, Elder Scrolls game announcement uh, this year at E3. Finally. And I'm tired of sick of this, because like, you have Mario Kart. You have Skyrim. You have... Uh, Minecraft getting ported is like oh Did you say goodness. Minecraft? Yeah, yeah, Minecraft. They get they keep Minecraft. Porting the Minecraft. Like Minecraft. <laughs> um, Minecraft. They, they keep Minecraft. 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 It's like Minecraft. Just announced Skyrim for Minecraft. It's like Minecraft. 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 This is a very good period. At, at that point, it's like they have a game that came out in 2011, and they're still they're still like. They're so poor. It's like, guess what? Skyrim for the VR. It's like, that game came out in 2011. Well, because people still people like it. Oh, I understand yeah. that, but come on. Everyone wanted to. You were just you saying know, they're not all dead. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I, mean, I haven't finished the game myself, but even then, it's like, some new ports, new porting, well, really good port things. It's just like, it's annoying, I think. I, I feel like porting is, is not a good thing, honestly. I mean, I guess if it's a remaster. That's, oh, come on. Yeah. It's an awesome game. They just port it, just port it to I'm, the I'm like, sure. same game to another console. Like, it just comes like, really, again, this thing? Same thing ever again. It's like, it kind of gets annoying. Yes. Um, and that's well, why I like playing, uh, playing old games. Old consoles. Well, well, for me, like, porting, do you mean like, um... Or what do you mean by porting, really? Because, like, uh, like, when I was at PAX, I'm pretty sure I was at the place I was at when I was seeing this advertised um, at, their, at one of the booths, is that Skyrim was getting a VR treatment. It's like, oh, really? VR? Like, I haven't seen that before. No, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, I'm like, cool, everyone wants to Skyrim. Skyrim. But it's like, 
Well, we haven't. That's kind of fucking be cool, him. man. I mean, it's it's rad, but it's still like seriously <laughs> another port. <laughs> No, uh, in that in that regard, the kind I gotta disagree. Yeah, because at the same time, that. though, porting in that in that regards, you everyone are going to want to play the same game, and having a bunch of exclusives, it's just going to make well games more exclusive to one console or another. I mean, you are also okay. I don't think that Skyrim is the best of uh, is the best option for the way that you're kind of describing this. I guess not. Because everyone not. wants to play Skyrim, but no, seriously. Um, and porting mm-hmm. over, I wish that they had done Last of Us. For yeah, I would have played the shit out of it because it's it's a game that I really enjoyed. I didn't have the console for it, and so I had to watch it online. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I do watch them online like that. Um. And I mean, it, it played out like a movie. Yeah, yeah. and it was awesome to me. Oh, yeah. I fucking oh, loved yeah. it. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, I I think that porting over like that is actually should be done a little bit more. Well, I think, I I think was, that a lot more people older. are going to buy the product, and a lot more people are going to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I, I just kind of felt like it was unnecessary. I mean, at this point, it's like you know, it might actually be pretty cool. But like when I was thinking about, I'm like at the time, I'm like. Oh really? Another another report? Like, but you know the way you're you're, ta- you're talking about it, you're kind of rephrasing my my reply there. I think that you got a fair point there. I thought it was because I when I was there at the at the convention, I'm like, oh really? Another port? But again, it might not be a bad. It might be a, I mean, actually. I, I think when they when they they were announcing a Switch version of Skyrim, I was like, that's where I'm like, okay, I think they got too far. <laughs> but again, it might actually be pretty cool. You know, some some sometimes porting isn't bad. But yeah. again, sometimes it is. Sometimes it's kind of annoying. Um, but I wanted real quick before we move on to music, because we haven't been talking about consoles for quite a while. What do you guys think about about the, the the best and worst designs of consoles in the past and current? I don't know. As far as design goes, the Switch mm-hmm. is super cool. I agree with you. Uh, I agree. They, they really uh, up their game with with the yeah, Switch. What's a very interesting idea. Well, it was. It was totally a good idea. It was like the best. Honestly, in general, in terms of console designs, I think the NES was ugly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess, you know, oh, yeah. where... Look at the yeah, Famicom. The NES it was so popular. much cooler. It was red. Yeah. Red's always good. Red's always a good color, man. What, what game is it? Um, The Famicom. Oh, yeah, oh, the yeah. Famicom. The Famicom is not a... Good looking system, you <laughs> Yes, it is. Shut up. <laughs> no. I like the colors, but that's about mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I, I think that one console that kind of like. It kind of looks like a computer, honestly. It kind of looks like what? a <laughs> It basically was. They had a disk drive for it and everything. That's uh, what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Um, disk drives. They removed that with the Xbox One. They, they had they have one, but it's not like a tray. Wait, what? Tray. Not, a flo- the- not a floppy disk drive, Steve. No, no, no. Like the, with, the, with the new consoles, they don't have proper disk drives. Anymore. They don't have trays. They have just, you insert, and that's it. You insert the disk and into the, into the little little slot, and that's how you do it. I think that was actually how you did it in the, ori- the original um, consoles. Um, I know the, the Xbox had it for a while, but then they bitched it with for the one where they had the, they didn't have that. I don't know. I think trays are nice because with the tray, you actually can, you can, you can make sure you're putting the, the disc in right, right? I, I don't know. I, do you guys like, did you guys like trays for the consoles? I prefer the trays like what uh, GameCube had. Yeah, yeah. Well, I really like I that. that. And then actually, that's interesting because with the GameCube um, and also like Nintendo stuff, they, they had a very different types of game cartridges or discs. Like the GameCube had, had very tiny discs. Mm-hmm. In the, well, the, uh, the, the GameCube and, for uh, me, the, the kind of loading like ports I really enjoyed using were like GameCube, where you load into the top, or yeah. the um, or games where you accidentally you actually insert it into the console. Oh yeah, yeah. not on a tray. I don't like the trays at all. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, my my yeah. my 360 tray is broken, <laughs> and I just ruined a disc the other day. Ouch. I think that is one that I never used, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, but aside from that, I, it, when I was trying to play it, I was trying to do ODST, the multiplayer disc, mm-hmm. um, with a friend of mine earlier today, but for some reason it fucked up and oh, it scratched the hell of the disc. Ouch. It's unreadable now. Oh, no, um, that's, that's how rip. one of my other consoles rip. 
Rip indeed. Um, Press F to pay respects. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pressing F right now. Me and all I get. I definitely feel like uh, with, with Nintendo, um, because they, they used to have cartridges and then they, they went to discs, which I yeah, feel like discs are, are awesome. I love those things, but I love when they had the Wii U and the, and and the, and the, um, the Wii the Wii U with discs, I feel like discs, they aren't as, they're more fragile because you can easily scratch them. With cartridges, however, they're a lot more easy to care because you have you less like I can see the last scratching. Yeah, they, they last a long time. Um, yeah, the labeling can come off. That's fine, but um, the more important thing is they last forever. And with discs, they're it just they, like they, it. They don't <laughs> last. And so I feel like the way when they when Nintendo announced that they were gonna do cartridges again, I was actually relieved because I like them. I mean, yeah, you get like you pay like thirty four dollars for a game. It's like all you get is still kind of little cartridge. That's fine. <laughs> I like those things. I like your little, little cartridges. They I love just, cartridges, man. They're just they're awesome. easier to work with. You know, I this like hey, you can break them or you can scratch them. But with the cartridges, they're just a lot easier to, to use. Yeah, again, you, you can the, the, the labeling can come off. They can be hard to read, kind of. That's fine, no deal. But with discs, they're just like they they can break or they can get scratched or they can have everything on that's horrible and they can it can just not be playable. But with with what they've done recently is that like I I miss. Having cartridges, and I'm glad that we kind of have. I felt like glad that Nintendo has fixed that with with the Switch with the cartridges because it's a way better, you know. I just prefer it that way. Cartridges, definitely. Um, Cartridge. that. <laughs> that's all I can say that. about consoles. I think I think that's really all there is to talk about consoles. Really, just just I wanted to real quick uh, have a discussion about this because it's a really interesting. I um topic really i think consoles because we again we the new consoles we've gotten now they've been nice but again they just changed so much we new, new hardware everything's 4k now it's like a whole new a whole new different kind of idea. a whole new world i, was, I knew you were gonna say that i knew you're gonna <laughs> Oops, I knew it was going to happen. The dazzling place on <laughs> I can show you the anyway, world. Shine and shimmering. Tom, I think that's a yes. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> you um, all agreed. Thank you very much. What, what's your, what do you guys think your favorite video game music is? Soundtrack. Persona 5. Okay. Ah. Cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I personally really, um, I, I I like I love Skyrim's music, mm -hmm. but probably oh, yeah. my favorite, the Elder Scrolls series, yeah. In, probably my favorite is I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Give me a little. I, I need to think about that. Actually. Okay. Do, 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 Favorite do, game do, soundtracks, do, whatever. Music, yeah, yeah, tell that, yeah. Uh, oh boy, that's hard to say. <laughs> I don't really. Know. He's gonna answer Hearts of Iron because that's the only thing he plays. No. <laughs> cards. 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 What? <laughs> a mixture between <laughs> GTA. Have you ever played G GTA? No, I actually haven't. I've seen games like games. Well, those are all the games, but yeah. I love GTA it's radio. I, I either that or cards. I don't know. Cars okay, what? Okay. The, the, the cars game. too. Cars is a the, video game? Video game movie? Yes. <laughs> so Why do you like that so much? Two? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. It has game breaking glitches that are <laughs> okay. <amazing. laughs> Okay, okay. And when you play a game just for glitches. <laughs> how about how about you, Ducky? Um I I am particularly partial to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game soundtracks. Ah, yeah. I kinda oh, yeah, grew up definitely. with it, so I'm biased, oh, but yeah. it's really good. Oh yeah. The Pokemon series in general has great music. Oh yeah, it does. And then that's why I wanted to talk about yeah. Get, um, uh, music in general with the video games because uh, I think it's the most important yes. aspect of a video game because if you have music, you have epic music, it's just it's a lot more fun to play the game. Well, I actually disagree. Um, I'm one of those guys where I'm going to turn down the music. I will I will turn down the music uh, quite often, especially in uh, games where I really want to have more of an adventure because I yeah. find that it takes away from the experience. 
I yeah. want to play it as that character, as if I were me. That's one of the reasons why I love Mass Effect so much. Mm-hmm. Because you can just be you however you want. Or you can be someone completely different. I mean, I always go to be the Paragon character, the absolute yeah. hero, because that's just who I am. That's the kind of person I want to be. But other people, they can be the complete and utter fucking asshole that they want. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes I can awesome. be both. <laughs> Um, that sounds awesome, actually. I, I, that it, sounds... It's a fantastic, absolutely <laughs> mind-boggling series. Yeah. yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about it, really. Uh, uh, Mass yeah. Effect 3 is good up until the last 15 minutes. After that, it <laughs> it, it, it tanks quick. And I then, hate the ending to the series. I absolutely despise it. Uh, um, so but with that being said, though, um, probably my favorite music with, for the video game itself is Mass Effect 3. Um, yeah. Particularly the the soundtrack where they're leaving Earth mm. um, in the opening sequence because the whole series is based around basically these giant robots are trying to destroy the entire universe. Everything that, yeah. is, <laughs> everything that is alive. Plain and simple. Yeah. And the way that they frame everything, I mean, it feels like a fucking cinematic movie. Oh, yeah. uh, the way that everything's framed and the, the somber Effect? music is just some of my absolute yes. favorite. Mass Effect? Yes. Oh, yep, okay. Mass Effect 3. Oh. Um, but aside yeah. from that, I'd probably go with GTA. Just because you can make it all your yeah. own with the radio. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. I can understand that. That's yeah. awesome. I haven't played it, but I, I understand. <laughs> I the cars thing was ironic, but you know. I think for me, my favorite, uh, my favorite music is okay. probably Halo. Definitely Halo. Um, I oh, love, yeah. Oh, yeah. I also love uh, oh, Malicious oh, Battle oh. Series and Pokemon Series. But Halo is Okay, my, my okay. Favorite. Hey, oh, I, I changed my answer. I changed my answer. I have Please. Wait, I changed my answer from GTA oh, to Halo. Everything. Yeah, Halo <laughs> is my alert to scream. Beautiful and everything. I just love it. It's majestic and. GTA I just love it. I mean, not GTA. Um, what is that game? Halo, yes. Halo had. It is such a great soundtrack. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got another one. Borderlands. Mm. Borderlands? Oh yeah. Borderlands. The Western, I, I the Western music the soundtrack for that one. It's like a Western, <laughs> Western music. Yeah, it does. Think, think Western, and you've got that. I've only played a little bit of that game, but yeah, I've played it. So I'm, I'm some of it. Um. Yeah, I, I definitely was like Halo because it, 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 it changed the way we play video games. Uh, in the uh, the tenth anniversary trailer for Halo One, it changed the way we play video games, and, and the music of that was amazing. Like M- Martin O'Donnell, he did a great great job on that uh, scoring, and he just made it amazing because because you, you, when you have music um, playing games, you just feel so immersed in the game with music in the background. It just that's why that's why games. It's important to have music in games because. You, because that way you feel more immersive, and yet actually be like a, you have a game where you have like you have an intense fight scene. You have like a, or if like it's like a Elder Scrolls game where you where danger danger appear, you know danger is very near, or even a Zelda game where danger is near. It's like you, when you hear that that tense music, it's like oh yeah, something something's near me. That's what's like that's the best part of those games is the soundtrack. Yes. That's why it's so beautiful or so amazing or so awesome or epic or whatever it's just i love it that's why music is the best part of everything basically yeah it can but especially it can make things really like, it, that's the mood that's why music it, it, in general music, is very good for music everything. helps dictate what the yeah. tone of whatever the piece is yeah you know well like one of one of my more favorite cinematics is um shit when is it <laughs> uh, the very end of Halo Reach. The very oh, yeah, end. yeah. And I mean, just I, when Noble Six is getting stabbed by the by the Covenant. Most the, and, I know most of the soundtrack of that. That's a great soundtrack. They just changed. I mean, it, it, it is absolutely spectacular. I um, love it. And I mean, the whole lone wolf scene there is just oh, like, oh god. god. It's so um, amazing. I just I just think that. That that particular franchise is the best has the best video game music out of the entire history of video games. Although I personally love Zelda, the Zelda series has great soundtrack. That's like oh yeah, Zelda! I just I love that. Uh, 
That's the main thing, obviously, but like they have other ones from like Toilet Prince by my Toilet Prince is my favorite Zelda game because it's not only the the most beautiful, but also the most longest in the series. and I I I I just love it. Like the, the Twilight theme is just it's just amazing. It's just majestic. I just that that Twilight franchise. So the franchise is, well, Twilight, the Twilight Zone. Like the, yeah, no, I know. That's the Twilight part of the game. The Twilight Realm. That's the yeah, best yeah, part of the yeah. game. Um, I just love everything. He likes that into the Twilight Zone. No, 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 no. You know what I mean, though. You know what I mean. But I just feel like. With, with music, if we didn't have music in video games, video would be boring. Well, they would be less fun. Uh, it it depends on the game. It's really boring. Honestly. Oh, yeah. But they just make the game so much more immersive and so much more fun. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. You're in a well, It depends scene, on like, how you play the game. Like I yeah. said, most of my... Most? Not all, but most of my mm-hmm. games, I will mute the sound to. Oh, okay. Granted, Why? You're weird. Otherwise different. Well, the reason is because I like to, like I said, I like to immerse myself as a character. Yeah, definitely. I, I like to, I play stories for the lore of it. I don't play because, yeah. okay, I'm going to, I'm going to play a game that has better lore than better graphics any day. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. I want to be able to kind of experience more of what the character feels. That's mm-hmm. just my own thing. Yeah. Like, um, for that's me, for what me, I used to do at least. I don't do it as yeah. much anymore. Oh, yeah. Um, unless oh, yeah. you kind of in like a specific mood, I'm like, hey, I'm going to do this today. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. that's my shit. I think for me, it's like you know, because I've been playing a lot of Spider-Man PS4, and I recently beat it. It was amazing. Um, and they released the new suit for that game, the the, the original Sam Raimi to wear suit. And you know, because I still have a lot to do for po- post first, you know, the, the the main game po- post main game, I have to commit to see a lot of stuff. But having the suit and also having the soundtrack. It's just amazing that, that that game is one of the best Spider-Man games I played ever. It's such a good well, game. Also, um, you said okay, can I, you're on the topic of Spider-Man. I had to yeah. mention this. <laughs> you saw Into the Spider-Verse. I did. Yeah, I did. I haven't seen it yet. It's really good. I haven't um, either. Yeah. Anyone that hasn't though. seen that, heard of go and see that shit. It it's is spectacular. Quite, it's amazing. Anyway, um, <laughs> don't they, spoil anything. No worries. They yeah, had the it. game too, and his whole line there. They yeah, have so it, it was a silver lining. It was like, I think, I think at that point in that game, I was like, everyone was just like, "What the hell, Insomniac? What the hell? We wanted the same Raimi suit. It's like they would, they would just give us these trashes. So they look terrible. They have one that's kind of the, the movie. It's like that's cool. It's from the movie. That's cool. Whatever. And then we finally get the same Raimi suit. That's cool. But you know, I feel like the the um, Sonic, they were like pulling at strings. They were like, they were not going to tell us anything until they surprised us. Um, but that game, yeah. I just love it. I think it's because I, I, I got, I was, I was uh, talking about um, before we went live. I was talking about how uh, I was playing the original game on the Xbox, like the, uh, the original movie game for the Tobey Maguire movies, and I hated it. It's just I gave up on it. Like this game is shit. The gameplay is shit. The combat is shit. Camera shit. Everything yeah, is shit. shit. And we so I just, it. I just <laughs> switched to the, the the next game, and it's way better. Um, but in general. The PS4 version, since I just beat it, it's just a fantastic, emotional roller coaster of a game. It's just amazing. I love the the game. I love the art. I love the soundtrack combat. It's just it's awesome. And so when you have that to couple with the soundtrack, and the soundtrack is just genius. Um, and I think that's just like, the most important thing about about anything, whether it be a movie or a television series or a video game, anything like that. Music is always the most vital part of that game because if you don't have music it's just it's just boring again depending on the game but i feel like that's why it's just that's why it's there because it's, it's meant to be a really immersive experience it's meant to be something that you can really write home about some oh, games yeah. i got i have to listen to the music because it is so spectacular halo that is one of them i am yeah, always yeah. going to listen to halo music oh, but okay. i ah, that is but good. compared to halo music 
I might not listen to that as much as I would in, like Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't. I definitely agree with you on that. There's a lot. And of... I might not uh, listen to as much as I would in, like say Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. granted, I love the music in it, but it's mm-hmm. just not the same. I, I love it for the cinematic the, uh... scenes. Oh yeah, the yeah Cinematics, yeah, yeah. you yeah. have to. I mean, some of those songs are just like oh fucking a, but. Mm-hmm. It, it it's just the way that I play games and the way that I enjoy them. Yeah, I think the most important thing about about video game music, and this is talking, this is going to kind of go back to uh, the first topic here about consoles and how they've changed. Music changed with with video games. It used to be the original music used to be eight bit, and then they eventually changed it to like full on orchestra. It used to be like that. That was how the music came. You get music. And then it changed, you know, 16-bit and 128-bit, and then it became, like, you know, HD music, all that stuff. It just, it never was what we hear today. What we hear today is what we've gotten now because of the technology we have. But back then it was 8-bit. It, it sounded good, too, but it was still, like, classic eight music. 8-bit, 8-bit world. Yeah, yeah, and it was, it was the best part of, it was, I, I still think that 8-bit music is still good, depending on what it is. But any other uh, video game music you guys like a lot? I haven't played Alien Isolation yet, even though I have it. I need yeah. to play it. I haven't been able to yet, though. I have games like that that are... Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're like the ultimate Alien fan. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but yeah. I mean, if you listen to any of the music from it, it's just... From the little that I have heard, it's just... Oh my god. I mean, it's immersive to you with, it, with oh the original Oh my god! Is one with the really derpy AI? No, it's actually with uh, what... It's, uh, Alien Isolation is the one that uh, people say has the best AI, like, ever. Mm, yeah. Um, because the AI literally is unpredictable. They programmed it to be entirely unpredictable. Um, <laughs> and you can die... And there, it's not going to repeat the same pattern at all. Huh. That, however, was the game's downfall. No, it was a 12-hour freaking game. Oh, good and grief. Uh, of that happening, a lot of people didn't like that. But still, the, the concept... Yeah. Yeah. Um, their PAI was that is Alien incredible, Colonial Marines. So basically, and now that one, like oh god. The AI was basically. horrid for some part of it. Not all, hmm. though. Yeah. Just some. Huh. Interesting. Um, I, 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 for me personally, I, I'm a big fantasy guy. I love fantasy games and movies and TV shows. But one, of, I think we mentioned this before. Someone mentioned. I think I think you mentioned it. Um, how Skyrim has great music. That entire franchise has changed, obviously. But if music has the same style, of music has has remained the same. But each each of them, each game has a different version of the same music. Um, like the. the you know what I mean? It's like, it's like that. That is the best. Oh wait, that's pirates. <laughs> Merwin had great. I do that too. Merwin was a great game, except for the, some of the gameplay. And music was great though. Oblivion had an awesome soundtrack. It had awesome music. Um, Skyrim, however, that's when it changed. That's when the music changed for the most. I mean, I mean. I feel like with franchises they have to have the, the the same music. They they change a little bit. Like they had the 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 theme in there, but it's a different type of of the, it's a kind of different version of the music. You know what I mean? Like as Skyrim did it, where they they had the, they had the the Elder Scrolls theme, but it was a different kind of theme. Like you could still you could still know it was an Elder Scrolls theme song, but like because it was a new game, it was different. And so that's why I feel like that game it was. It was amazing. I love, love all three of them. Although, again, Merwin wasn't the best game in terms of uh, the gameplay because it didn't. It didn't have fast travel. It was horrible. It was like I can't. I had to get through the game without fast travel. I had to look I'm at a lot of Merwin. That's how you Merwin. say, it, right? That's how I say it. Yeah, Merwin. I'll just go say Merwin. Morrowind. Yeah. Merwin. That, that, that series. Oh my actually, god! That's what the fucking in, you can start with Skyrim and be fine. Honestly, that's a game you don't you don't need to, you don't need to start in a particular order. I went for three, but I went and then went to four and five. But that game series had some of the best music I've heard for a fantasy game series on the Xbox. Um, and I, I know that Zelda's great and all, but Elder Scrolls is where it's at. I love that. It's it's amazing. Um, 
don't know. What, which, which games in the series have you guys played? I uh, haven't played any of them all the way through. Okay. Okay, same here. I, I've only played the first two in the, all the way through. Um, I usually, I usually just beat the, beat the main quest and that's it. I usually just beat the main quest and then go over to the next game. Because it's, it's like, literally, it's, I have nothing else to do in the game. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember playing Oblivion, and I I'm pl- I 100% completed it. Got all I had all the DLC completed, and it was like, yeah, I could do a side quest if I wanted to, but what's the point of even doing that? I beat the game already. <laughs> what's the point? Exactly. So what is the on. point? What's the um, point? I say. Terrible. I'm just, I'm just I just took a break because I was trying to get someone to marry me in the game. He dies. I'm not kidding, by the way. Yeah. There's, there's a you can marry you can marry your, your companion in the game. Yeah. Right yeah, it's hard. it's hard though. Because you, you have to get a bunch of gold and all. Well, really just hard. like in real life. <laughs> well, it's different. Time. It's different in the game because you have to have an amulet to actually marry someone. Just it's like weird... in real life. No, no, no. Yeah. In, in real life, game... it's called a ring. In the, in in the game, life, it's called an amulet. people don't even have rings. Yeah, I know. Want them. But that's my, that's, my, that's my favorite fantasy game soundtrack. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that's the best I've heard. I'm 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 looking forward to the news to the next game at six. No stuff telling yet, but I'm sure it'll be fun. So um Yeah. Anyway, oh I God. think that's all I had <laughs> for this episode. I'm I, I managed to cram two topics in one because we didn't get a note that this last week because things happened. But I think this is a pretty good episode. I think we had a, a good amount of talk. I haven't had this kind of topic in a while. Like we we really touched yeah. on consoles once and we've talked about yeah. music like I don't know. Have we ever talked about music on the on the on the um, podcast before? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. I don't believe so. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've done a podcast about it. Um. Anyway, but I think that's all I had for this week. Um. Anybody else got another uh, idea to talk about, or we can just end it? Mm, I don't know. I'm good. But yeah. Again, Merry Christmas to you Brad, all. I hope cool. you all have a good holiday. Anyway. Thank you all so much for listening to this episode of the Madhouse. We all hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. We all really do appreciate the support. And if you're to this channel, please subscribe for more episodes of this podcast Look, and other series I'm that I do. I as well as other great content. Also, make sure you subscribe to Big Dino Guy and Chalky. The links will be in the description below. Also, make sure you click that bell to enable alerts so you don't miss any uploads. And we will be back next time with another episode. All right. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye-bye. Ah.